The Death of Vespasian Suetonius reports Vespasian never ceased from being good-humoured, even when he was in extreme danger and was in the full apprehension of death. These were the portents that his life would soon end. Suddenly, one day the doors of the imperial mausoleum opened up without explanation. Then a new comet appeared in the heavens with a long trailing illumination. Vespasian dismissed these signs, saying that the mausoleum had opened for Junia Calvina, a distant relative of Augustus. He also said that the new comet must have appeared for the great king of the Parthian Empire, for that king had a long trail of hair, and Vespasian was completely bald. Even when death was imminent, Vespasian merely said, What a great distress! I think I am turning into a god. Vespasian was in his ninth consulship when he developed a slight illness in Campania. His illness increased, and he contracted a bowel complaint after a treatment involving cold water. Nevertheless, he continued to perform his duties as emperor, even receiving embassies as he lay in bed. Exhausted by sudden bouts of diarrhoea, he struggled to remain conscious. Finally, he commanded, An emperor ought to die standing. While he was struggling to stand, he died in the arms of those who were assisting him. It was the ninth day before the Calends of July. Vespasian died aged 69. Suetonius Life of Vespasian, Passages 23-24